Hi there, welcome to chendu.org. As you may know, I run several Excel and Visual Basic related training programs. So quite a few have of you have been emailing me in the last several weeks and asking me, Chendu, this is my situation. Can you recommend me uh, the best Excel training program that uh, I can go for given this scenario? So I thought, uh, you know, I answer them uh, through phone or email, whatever works best. And I try to help them out. But I also got curious, can we just create maybe a simple Excel workbook kind of thing where people can select some options and then see which training is recommended for them. Now, this is not meant to be a uh, selling tool as such. Of course, I would be glad to have you as a student uh, if you like this workbook or if you want some training and if you feel my programs are good for you but this is more out of curiosity because all the work that i do on the blog and my training programs is teach excel and tell people how to use excel to do something or other so i thought uh, maybe showcasing excel's features uh, by building a small tool inside excel that would help me choose which excel training that i should go for is a good way to do it so here we go what we have what we have here is a simple two question uh, survey. All you had to do is uh, tell me what describes you best and tell me also why you use Excel. These are the only two things. One is a, a multiple choice question. You will select an option and the second question is uh, has multiple answers. So you can select one or more and based on that we do some uh, some awesome math behind this. <laughs> and finally come up with a recommendation for you. So let me just first demo this to you. Now what describes you best is a simple question with six options. You can pick any one of these options. So you can say I have no idea about Excel or you can say I'm John Walkenbach. Now the, this is just a, a spectrum of values. This is not continuous values or anything. But in my opinion, many people uh, are uh, somewhere between have no idea about Excel and this, I know macros. But there are some experts who would be here and probably there is only one John Walkenbach. So uh, that's how it goes. Now, let us just say you are uh, new to Excel. You can write some simple formulas, make charts, you can make some charts and you have been visiting chandu.org for a while. So you, you are familiar with various things. So let us just pick that and a majority of Excel users tend to use Excel for data analysis, number crunching. So I've pre-selected that, but if you click on that, it will be deselected. So again, click, it will be selected. Then you also use Excel to automate your work. So be it reporting, be it uh, any type of uh, frequent things like calculations, stuff like that. And also the third thing that many of our users use Excel is for reporting MIS and dashboards. But a majority of people are also using Excel for presentations and charts, make some information visualizations inside Excel uh, so that you can communicate better. So that is an option. And of course, you don't want to tell what to do with Excel. You can always choose this top secret CIA work. It doesn't matter what you do. I just try to assume certain things and recommend. But this is not just all the things that you do. For example, you could use Excel to do financial modeling or you can use Excel to do scenarios and uh, you know solve some tricky problems. A lot of things are possible. So if none of these fit, you could pick other. For the time being, just leave these three selections and that. And then once you're done, you can just click on this button, which training is best for me. And based on the selections that you just made, these are the trainings that I recommend. Now, I run six programs, so for this selection, all the six programs are appropriate, but this is the order in which I recommend them. Uh, for someone who is who is into some basic in Excel level skill, and who wants to do reporting, MIS, dashboards, data analysis, and automate their work, uh, going for Excel school along with VBA and a dashboard option is the best. Uh, there is a small description and the pricing information is provided here with a link. So if you click on that, you will go to the page where you can find more information about that course. And if interested, join. Now let us play a little more with this tool. So let us go and modify this. Now let us just say, 
uh, you answered the first question but you did not answer the second question that means you did not make any selection at all now what happens is we instead of showing the recommended trainings I show you a message that goes something like this uh, you did not make any selection or you are John Walkenbach I have no clue why you did not make any selection so if you are John Walkenbach then I have a deal for you I give my number and I ask you to call me back in the unlikely case of uh, you know John Walkenbach himself trying this workbook but otherwise you can always go back and make the selection so you click on that you will jump back here and uh, you can select for example you can say you know I am at this level I know a bit of my ma macros I can do a lot of formulas charting everything and I want to uh, use Excel for data analysis and number crunching then I recommend that uh, these four courses are good for you again uh, since you are already familiar with macros we recommend that you go for Excel school with dashboards because macros you already know uh, but there is also VBA class recommended because there is a chance that you may not know everything about macros for example if you are uh, someone who can write macros to even control a microwave oven uh, just as an example and you do some top secret CIA work then this is what I recommend okay uh, so that is uh, how it works it is a simple tool that we have designed in Excel to help you uh, understand but the m more important part here is uh, this shows what you can do with Excel for example uh, I would not have imagined something like this when I started using Excel or even after four or five years of using it but today thanks to you all I have been learning a lot of Excel things and I'm in a position to uh, you know visualize and create something like this and I hope uh, one day you will be able to do something like this so with that uh, hope I'm going to just very quickly demonstrate how this works in the background now what we have here is uh, a bunch of ingredients the first question is nothing but six radio buttons so if you right click here you can see that there is a radio button that is kind of taking up the whole area uh, and all the radio buttons have the same source cell so if you select that you can see that this is updating the cell E58 uh, now this is E58 and whatever you select uh, E58 is going to contain that number right and for this we have six text boxes and they are named as QES21 and this one is named as QUES26 meaning question 2 and then the sixth option like that and then all of them I have given a macro called as Q2 click Q2 click is the macro that is when you click on that button it's going to set these six values to either true or false so if I click the first button currently it is false it's going to become true like this here the next time you click here it's going to become false again now based on the status of that click true or false I am also setting arrows uh, using conditional formatting you can see that conditional formatting manage rules and I'm just using an arrow and I'm displaying only the tick mark uh, it's not an arrow sorry it's a tick mark uh, only tick mark will be shown whenever you uh, it is true if it is false or if it is not uh, if it is not selected then it will be blank in the case of false you can see it is blank so that's uh, there is a small formula that is driving everything if this is true then one otherwise it's blank and conditional formatting rule says if it is one just show the tick mark otherwise leave it blank then uh, then this tick mark is used here as a picture link so this is a picture link that points to that if you are not familiar with picture links you might find this part a little difficult to follow uh, but just go and go to chendu.org and search for picture links and you will uh, understand how they work now moving on so this is the presentation part you select something and you click here uh, click there uh, it's going to show me the tick marks but how am I going to determine which trainings are the ones that I should recommend now well uh, the simple part is what I have is I have six training programs that I want to use for this tool we also have two more training programs on financial modeling and project finance modeling which are not included in this kit uh, in this tool so uh, and then there are one or two ebooks and things like that but to keep this crisp and simple I have used six of my training programs so what I did is these are six levels of Excel proficiency and 
these are six areas of excel work so it is a six by six matrix kind of thing that i have constructed that tells me uh, given your level of excel proficiency one to six and your excel need reporting to cio work and other what are the courses that i recommend and what is the order in which i recommend so if you are an excel newbie and you use excel for reporting uh, then this is the order of courses that i recommend i recommend that you take my second course which is excel school plus dashboards uh, if that is not the one that you want you can go for the first course which is excel school if neither of them appeal to you then you can go for the third course which is vba classes like that so 2 1 3 5 4 is the order in which i recommend these courses at most i recommend only five courses for any given one need now what happens is when you are selecting these options so here we have selected four options i can see that there are four trues and option one is chosen option four five six are chosen for option one i am recommending for the level three two five three is what i have recommended then four three five is recommended five two one four five two is recommended then what we do is we are calculating the union of all these three all these four values so this is a bit of formulas uh, again uh, nothing great here but it takes a bit of excel skill to understand so just examine these formulas and you would know and the union is this once the union is calculated the recommended order is kind of gone for a toss so again we restore that by um, listing the courses in the recommended order here so essentially if you are choosing these four options which is reporting and automation top secret work and something else and you are an excel user currently then your order of courses that we recommend is 5 4 2 1 3 so you, the best course is 5 and the least recommended course is 3 like that then based on that i also have a table that tells me course name why that course is required what is the link for that course and the price of that course so based on this we construct this smaller table uh, this has all courses six course details whereas this is a subset of courses that are recommended for the given selection and this is an extra box that we are using so in case there is no union calculated that that can only mean two things one you are john walkenbach and you don't require any more training from us or two you are uh, you have not made any selection in the second question so these are the only two things that we can imagine so if either of those two cases are done then we are using this cell as a picture link abat and showing this image in the output sheet i hope uh, i have put together all the pieces of the puzzle to you in an easy to understand way so let us just go and see what happens when you click here internally we are just ca fetching those values and showing them here uh, but the moment i just choose john walkenbach i get this box again in this sheet we have a bit of conditional formatting that checks if the cell is empty or not if it is empty it disables the borders so you get this kind of look blank canvas look when there is no selection so that is how our excel training recommendation tool works it's a simple tool nothing too complicated here uh, but it shows you the power of what is uh, uh, power of excel and how you can create something very uh, simple but quite efficient like this in a couple of hours provided you know excel so thank you so much for your time and attention uh, i hope you have learned something new from this video and if you are looking for an excel training program well i know something uh, some programs that are very very good and they are offered by me so go ahead and join uh, one of my courses and learn more about excel or vba otherwise i am thankful to you for learning and supporting us all along thank you so much and i wish you a great day ahead bye bye